Good day and welcome to the Gulf News Update for Sunday, January the 19th. Here are the top stories at this hour. Mystery surrounds the death of Sunanda Pushkar, wife of India's junior HRD minister Shashi Tharoor at a Delhi hotel on Friday night. Doctors who carried out an autopsy on her body said the 52-year-old died an unnatural sudden death with her body bearing injury marks. Police investigators, however, said Pushkar's death could be a case of overdose of drug or sleeping pills. However, they said a clear reason for her death could only be determined after the detailed autopsy report. Sharjah police have identified jaywalking as a serious issue and launched a campaign targeting pedestrians who cross roads from non-designated areas. Lieutenant Colonel Ahmad bin Darwish, head of the patrol department of Sharjah police, said offenders will be fined 200 dirhams. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry has welcomed a decision by Syria's main political opposition group to attend this week's peace talks in Switzerland. His praise for the Syrian National Coalition's courageous move was echoed by the UK and France. The aim of the talks in Montreux is to start the process of setting up a transitional government to end the war in Syria. A proposed new Egyptian constitution has been backed by 98.1% of people who voted in a referendum. Officials said the turnout was 38.6% of the 53 million eligible voters. The draft constitution replaces the one introduced by Islamist President Mohamed Mursi before he was ousted. In sport, Anna Ivanovic dumped world number one Serena Williams out of the Australian Open today with a stunning 4-6-6-3-6-3 upset. Novak Djokovic, meanwhile, beat Fabio Fornini in a fourth round match. Arsenal and Manchester City kept up their pursuit of the Premier League title by maintaining their winning streaks last night. But Liverpool's challenge faltered after they were held at home by Aston Villa. Madonna has apologized for using a racial slur on Instagram to refer to her teenage white son. The pop diva sought forgiveness a day after calling those who criticized her language haters. On Friday night, the singer posted a picture of Rocco boxing and added a variation of the N-word with her comment. And finally the weather, today's high across the UAE will be 22 degrees Celsius, dropping to 15 degrees at night. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. And as always, you can get the latest news at gulfnews.com.